Hello and welcome back. This is Greg French. Uh, today we're going to begin a new course called Computer Repair Training. This is an update to the class I've been teaching. Uh, I teach an ROP in Southern California. I've been teaching this course for about 10 years. I have 25 years in the industry and over 10 years teaching. I have an AA degree, a BA degree, and a master's degree. I've got a lot of credentials. got an A plus certification, Network Plus certification, also certified Cisco CCNA, and I'm certified as an instructor for uh, Cisco. This uh, course is going to be a fairly long course. Uh, it's going to be 50 plus lessons. It's, it takes about a year long to get through it. Um, if some of the resources uh, that are going to be available, you'll find at this website, computerrepairtrainingplus.com. Uh, I'm going to have some activities and some labs and some other resources at that website if you're interested. Uh, for those that are listening in on the internet, uh, you're welcome to participate in this course. This course is actually designed for my students. I have both adults and high school students to take this. Uh, let's begin. Learning objectives. We're going to learn the computer needs both the hardware and the software to work. Both, both are needed. One can't work without the other. The hardware is the actual physical. Uh, the software is what drives the hardware, gets the hardware to do something for us. We're going to le learn about many different hardware components inside and outside the computer. It's quite a large number. We're going to be going over each one. Hardware is the physical. This is the physical portion of the computer, what we can see, what we can touch, what we can handle. The software is instructions that are used to manipulate this hardware. So again, we need the software to drive the hardware. Uh, all hardware operations are based on binary values. This is what we call a base 2 numbering system. We just have two characters, a 0 and a 1. And with the 0 and the 1, we can represent all of the information that you see on your screen and all the information that we communicate through our data lines from computer to computer throughout the entire Internet. Binary number system, again, consists of two digits, a 0 and a 1. Uh, we have bits, what we call bits is just a 0 or a 1, either one of those characters. A byte would be 8 of those characters. Uh, here you can see a lady sitting over here on her computer. We have a, a network and a printer. Uh, as she types, she's actually creating 1s and zeros. And those 1s or zeros are processed by the computer. The computer outputs them on a data line. Uh, it might run into some other computers or it might get over here to the printer and the printer will be able to translate those ones and zeros into characters that we can read. So all communication, storage, processing, everything is in a binary form. The computer doesn't understand English or any other language, only ones and zeros. PC hardware components. We have input and output devices, I.O. This is external to the case. Uh, processing and storage devices are internal, so we have a CPU, hard drive, other components internal to the case. External, we have keyboards, we have monitors, and other devices. Hardware for input and output. Ports can be cabled or wireless. Today we have wireless computers. Very nice uh, convenience to be able to sit out in my living room with a laptop and be able to get on the internet. It used to be I was, I was pretty much in the back of the house, uh, away from the family. Chief input devices, keyboard and mouse, our output devices, the monitor and the printer. Here's an example of a monitor and a printer. These are our two primary output devices. We get information uh, delivered to these. We can read the information on the monitor. We can see it as it's printed on the, on the printer. Hardware inside the case. Uh, storage and processing occurs in the case. Uh, internal devices. We have a motherboard, a CPU, memory maybe a video card, maybe a modem. There's also a hard drive and CD-ROM, uh, CD or DVD. You also have a power supply that supplies all these devices. We're going to be talking about the power supply in another lesson and also the hard drive and the motherboard and CPU and memory in another lesson. Expansion cards, they're installed on the motherboard. These are cards that we can actually plug into the motherboard in uh, different slots. Cables, we have both data cables for communication, and also power cables to supply power to all these devices. Uh, here's an example of the inside of a case. This is actually my computer. Uh, we have a power supply up here in the top. We've got some power cables supplying all the different devices and the motherboard. And there's some fans here. There's a fan on the back of the computer and a fan on top of the CPU. Uh, CPU needs a lot of cooling. It gets very hot. This is a video card down here plugged into an AGP. We also have a motherboard. The motherboard is this large circuit board that 
that houses all of these devices. All these devices plug into it. I also have an IDE power or data cable over here on the side. I also have a hard drive. Hard drive is down in here. I also can have another hard drive up in this area and a CD-ROM, CD DVD device. So these are some of the basic components inside the computer and we will be taking each one of these in detail. Uh, in review, hardware needs software to work. Hardware can't do anything without the software. Software is just a set of instructions. Can't really see it, but it's something that we load into the computer. Computer uses binary numbering system. Binary number system we're going to be going over quite a bit. We need to really understand that. It's just zeros and ones. It does everything for us. It's pretty amazing. But these computers run at very, very high rates of speed. So they're just crunching a lot of zeros and ones. And these zeros and ones make up words and sentences and other things to display information on the screens, create sounds for audio. It's pretty amazing. All processing and storage uh, is case internal. So all our processing, when we're storing information, writing information, it's all done internal to the case. We have IOs on the back of our case. These are ports that plug in. And then these div uh, go to external devices. Could be a keyboard, could be a mouse, could be a monitor, could be a network cable. Ports can be cabled or wireless. Today we have wireless connections. It provides a tremendous advantage for us. Uh, activities, uh, we have a binary memory system. Uh, if you want to get onto this website, I have a lesson there for the binary numbering system. You need to go over that. You need to be able to convert binary numbers back and forth from ones to zeros. Uh, you'll be able to convert decimal numbers into a binary number. And we need to be able to go backwards too. We need to be able to go from a binary number back to a decimal. It's not very difficult. You'll surpri be surprised now how easy it is. Uh, lab 1.1, I want you to gather and record the system information on your particular computer. I've got some questions I want you to answer and then I want you to turn those in. That's it for this first lesson. Uh, again, go to this website. You'll find there's some books that I'll be uh, recommending that you get uh, and be able to follow, on, follow along on these lessons. Uh, there's several different authors that I'll recommend. Uh, the information is pretty much the same in all the books. They just write a little bit differently. Some have more diagrams, which can be helpful. Also, there's a lot of information on the internet. So I'm hoping, I'm hoping you stay on board. Uh, this should be a good course. Uh, this field is exciting. And all you need to do is gather some information, develop some skills, and you can become a computer tech also. Thank you very much for your time. Bye.